My name is Anna Kuhl. I have lived in Southern California since, oh my goodness, uh, since I was 22. In the beginning, I didn't notice any, anything different for a long, long time, except that my vision deteriorated and I needed stronger and stronger glasses. All of a sudden, I saw this big black area and I was so surprised and scared that I called uh, USC, the Eye Institute, uh, right away and made an appointment for the same day. Anna Kuhl came to us really looking for a advanced new technique to restore her sight. She had been going blind from a condition called macular degeneration. So what happens in this condition is the retina which lines the inside of the eye has light sensing cells called rods and cones. And in this condition, macular degeneration, the rods and cones get affected in the center of the retina. The part that you read with, recognize faces and watch television with. When I realized that I have dry macular degeneration, my vision was still pretty good. But as time went on and I, I lost the cells. Then that area becomes atrophic, meaning completely degenerated and destroyed. So you end up with a black blind spot. Wherever you look, there's this blind spot. So if you try to look at somebody's face, there's a blind spot. If you try to read, there's this blind spot. When I lost uh, the central vision in my left eye, I had to give up many things that I used to do. I became in a dependent, much more dependent on other people. What we came up with is the concept of just replacing those aged and missing cells um, using stem cells. We've gotten to the point where we can differentiate stem cells into actual mature adult RPE, which is the exact cell type that's missing in the patients. So what we do is grow those stem cells into the RPE in the lab on a dish and grow them on this very thin layer of perylene or plastic. Our innovation has been to engineer a scaffold that is able to carry these cells in and able to be implanted in the eye and be and seamlessly integrate with the eye because it really does need to do that latter part. So it's essentially the cells that are missing in the exact anatomic configuration that they should be in uh, when they're delivered to that space. After the procedure, my life changed in many ways. I could tell so soon afterwards that something was happening in this eye when I could see whole faces on the TV, and also the whole face of, of Hans, my husband, <laughs> and other people, because I, I had a very hard time recognizing people before. If you don't recognize people, you don't even like to be, you know, go to parties or anything, and, and uh, now, I, now I like parties <laughs> again. <laughs> Well, most people would say, what does engineering have to do with the stem cell project? Isn't that just biology and cells? But in this case, it, it clearly plays a major role because cells alone could not get this job done. It's a beautiful combination of engineering, medicine, science, uh, and technology, and it all comes together in this one three by six millimeter patch. My hopes for the future are mainly that these cells, these implanted cells, will stay alive and that many, many, many more people can experience the same as I have and can be helped.